I'm going to show you how to spice up your web designs using blob shapes in Elementor web pages. Hi and thanks for joining it's a meet from unlimited elements in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new widget blob shapes which is absolutely free by the community to the community and what I mean by that is that we didn't make this widget but one of our users named Saxon made the widget and he sent it out and he said maybe it will be cool if it will be free from to anyone to download from your widget library unlimited elements is the one and only widget library and widget creator for Elementor so let's get started I have this boring web page or section in a web page and I want to spice it up so I'm going to look for the new widget which is called blob shapes I'm going to drag that inside and let's delete the old image because we don't want that anymore and as you can see this is a unique morphing kind of shape which has a background color one background color two and you can add an image to it you can also change the shapes over here if you want to have a different shape or make you maybe make it higher depending on your design and I'm just gonna upload an image over here so we had a car image before let's just choose this one for demonstration purposes and as you can see we got a really cool effect and I'm going to take you over the settings so you can understand how we achieve this effect and you will know how to edit it if you want to so first of all as we said shape we can change it to any one of the presets over here height the width is going to be a responsive width, so meaning it adapts to any column size. And you can see it doesn't squish up the image. It, it just adapts, adapts perfectly. Even if we go into mobile, uh, to the section, you can see everything is looking really cool. The next setting is gradient angle. That's the angle of the gradient in case you're using a gradient. Fade offset, that's also a gradient setting, and background color one and two. So if I'm going to change this, and what I want you to see right here, it doesn't matter what color I choose, it's going to look awesome. So I'm just going to change it to green, which would usually maybe be ugly, but it's looking great. I mean, any color you're going to choose here, let's change it to blue, and it's looking cool. And I'll explain in a minute why that is. Color 1 offset, color 2 offset are related to the gradient if you want to move it a little bit. I don't touch these uh, settings. By the way, if you don't want a gradient, you can make both colors the same color and that will disable the gradient. Image opacity. Now this is important. So there's an image over here and if we wanted to make it lighter, we can. If we want to show the gradient more, we can uh, show that even more. At any time, if you just want a gradient blob and you don't want it to be with an image, you can delete the image and you're going to be left only with the gradient. Let's switch this up to a different Im image even. Just look how cool that is, and how fast that is to create unique stuff. If you don't know Photoshop and stuff like that, it just takes seconds to make something really, really cool. And the magic happens over here in blend mode i mean most of you know blend modes it's part of a photoshop it's part of elementor but if you don't this is what makes the transparency between the gradient and the image and what it's not exactly transparency it's like a sort of effect which is called blend modes if you want to disable the effect you can choose normal and right now uh, there is no effect let's bring up the opacity to 100 and you can see this is the regular image but if you want to change this you can change this to any one of these presets and you will get really cool effects look at that that's amazing that's exactly what website trends are about right now it's blobs it's gradients it's uh, all sorts of blend modes if you want you can enable the link add a link regular elementor link and you're all set to go 
This is really easy, really fast, 100% free. I want to thank the community again for helping us build our widget library. Thank you, Saxon, for sending this out. This is super cool, and see you next time.